Welcome back to This Is Rifle Country. And what I have today is something pretty special. This is a new old gun. This is the Century Arms PSL. Now it is manufactured in Romania. Essentially, it's the Romanian version of the Russian, the very famous Russian Dragunov sniper rifle. So what do we have here? Well, first and foremost, this rifle is chambered in 762 by 54 r That's the rimmed Russian case. Starting at the rear, obviously we have a wood stock. We've got a steel butt plate, but it's okay because this is a semi-auto gun. We've got a little sling loop there for you, and obviously the very distinctive thumb hole stock. Right here, a long Kalashnikov action with a standard AK safety right there. You've got a box magazine with an ambidextrous release. It's a 10 round box magazine. And if you look real closely, that's what the ammo looks like. Now long action, basically functions identically to your standard AK Kalashnikov. You've got your charging handle here, you've got the safety lever, all that. Dust cover comes off just like an AK does. And even though it does have a scope on it, it also has adjustable rear sights and front sights. Let's take a second to talk about this optic. This optic is actually a Russian scope. It's not a Romanian scope. It is a Russian scope. It is a four power. And if you look right here, you see it says on off. It's because this is an illuminated reticle scope. You flip it on, the reticle turns red. The reticle also has a built-in range finder or a range estimator to allow you to estimate distance. On top you have adjustable knobs for elevation and windage and what they've done which is actually pretty cool is they put these these caps on here and once the caps are on and secured you can look through and there's a little window so you can check your dope right there. This Russian scope comes with the rifle. Moving forward, obviously, we have wooden hand guards. Think about this gun as an AK that's just been stretched out. We've got the same kind of gas system. We have a 24 inch barrel with a muzzle brake on it. And yes, these are new guns. Some people have asked, they're like, well, are this Jules just old guns that they found in a warehouse somewhere and they, they box them up and send them? No, they're brand new guns. Now, what can you expect out of this gun? What kind of accuracy? This is a semi-automatic gun and semi-automatic guns tend to not be quite as tight as bolt action guns. I know a lot of you guys are up there, oh, bull crap. Stick with me. What I've found so far is depending on the ammunition that you feed it, whether it's the standard like machine gun ammo, 147, 148 grain full metal jacket, that's gonna spread out a little farther. The heavier weight bullets, this gun actually likes a little bit better. You can expect anywhere from a two and a half to three MOA with machine gun ammo, full metal jacket, down to about one and a half, maybe one and three quarter MOA with the precision ammo. These guns are not cheap, they're not free, but they are less than $2,000. People say, I really like the Dragunov, I want one of those. And if you like the Dragunov and you want to buy one, I would suggest going online and looking at the prices today. And then you say, hmm, $1,900 doesn't seem too bad. The ammunition that I'm going to be shooting today is the Celir Enbelo SNB and it is brass cased. I have both the full metal jacket and soft point ammunition. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the Century Arms Romanian PSL, if they're not available at your gun store right now, ask for them. They will be available very, very soon.